not like that from Howrah station where I need to uh, uh, it take one hour to uh, reach home from Howrah station itself to my home well, and uh, then how uh, okay. Uh, what banking, is banking? Uh, it's a um, process. It is a, it's a um, <clears throat> where um, public deposit money and uh, um, that the bank takes the money and it lends to other people for like uh, their uh, startups or any other personal reason. Good. You have told it in a different way. Very good. Very good. Normal definition is banking is accepting deposits from the public and making advances to others. Apne sahi bola. Good. What is the name of the Gramin Bank in West Bengal? West Bengal has three Gramin Banks, Postumango Gramin Bank, Uttar Bango Gramin Bank, and Bungio Gramin Bank. Um, who are the sponsoring banks for this? Uh, Postumango Gramin Bank sponsor bank is Yuko Bank. Uh, Uttar Bango Gramin Bank is uh, Central Bank of India. And uh, Bungio Gramin Bank is... Uh, Punjab National Bank. Very good, very good. Good, that's right. Now, what is the capital contribution of uh, state government in RRBs? Uh, st uh, state government has a uh, fifteen percent contribution of the total hundred percent in uh, RRBs. RRB. Very good, very good, very good. How many RRBs are there in our country now? Forty-three. Is that right? 43. 43. Achha, what happened in your RRB interview? How many marks did you score? I scored 71 actually. That time actually it's my first, it was my first interview and I uh, wasn't that much prepared so I didn't score Seven, that. 71 was not bad. 71 was not bad. Uh, I think you would have scored 14 out of 14 out of 20. But wow, how many marks did you score over the cutoff? Uh, actually, uh, in men's, I have uh, scored only three marks above the cutoff. That's why uh, I didn't get selected. Yeah, that is not possible. It is not possible. Yeah. You must. My brother also told me yeah, because he is RRB PO, so he also told me that uh, three marks is not enough. You should minimum score above fifteen marks to get selection. Yeah. Fifteen, twenty, one is a badia. Yeah. Twenty, one is a badia. You know, it is difficult. I know. RRB examination is nowadays very tough. Good. Now, State Bank of India. Who is the chairman? Uh, Mr. Dinesh Kumar Khanna is the chairman of uh, State Bank of India. Who is the governor of RBI? Uh, RBI's governor is Mr. Saktikanta Das. Can you name two or three deputy governors of RBI? Yes, sir. Uh, Deputy Governors of RBI are uh, Mr. Mahesh Kumar Jain, Mr. T. Uh, T. N. Ravi Shankar, uh, and uh, third is Mr. Michael uh, Devabroto Patro, and uh, fourth is uh, Rajeshwar Rao. Mr. Rajeshwar Rao. Yeah. Among them, who is the chairman of DICGC? MD Patro. <laughs> MD Patro is the chairman of DICGC. And what are what is the expansion of DICGC? Sorry, sir, I actually don't know about Deposit that. Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation. Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation. Up to how much amount credit bank deposits are guaranteed? Don't know. Five lakhs. What are they? No, sir, I haven't studied it. Actually. Bank deposits up to 5 lakhs are guaranteed. Deposits in scheduled commercial banks up to 5 lakhs is guaranteed in the name of one person. Because you have come up to RRB interview stage, so you must have known this. It's okay. No problem. Uh, D I C G C. Okay. Now, have you heard of E C G C? Sunani, export credit guarantee. Export credit guarantee corporation. corporation. They are giving policies and also guarantees to banks for making of export finances. So, have you heard of the term priority sector? Yes, sir. I have heard it. Can you tell 
there are eight or nine priority sectors. Tell me at least yes. five of them. It's um, agriculture, MSME sector, then uh, educational loan, housing loan, then uh, it's um, solar plant, biomass, compressed biogas plant, then it's uh, some social infrastructure. Mm. Help and, uh, you are omitting the point I gave you, export. Export, yes, yes, sorry, export. You are omitting that point. Mm. Housing, you have told me. Education, did you tell? Yes. Sorry. Education, education. Education loan. Uh, did you tell about education loan? No. I, I have tell education loan. I, I have tell me. I have to, I told. Past okay, tense. I have to. Past tense. Very good. Excellent. Good. You know about priority sector also. Now, can you tell me what is KYC? KYC, it's uh, know your customer actually. Know your customer norm. Please tell me a few points about that. Actually, uh, nowadays the. Um, and NPS are increasing. That's why bank is um, giving its priority to know your customer norm. That is uh, about uh, every details of customer, like their other number, their bank card, and their details where they are uh, situated now, and uh, all about themselves, so that uh, they can actually um, insure, uh, insure their themselves about uh, the NPA, not. Uh, the like like decreasing the to decrease the NPH. Actually, don't link NPA and KYC because KYC is a RBI mandate. RBI says one has to observe KYC. Some banks are fined for not following KYC. KYC is know your customer, and this is done in order to ensure the identity of the person bona fide of the person and also to avoid Benami transactions, also to avoid money laundering. Yes. What's the question? Yes. Money laundering and take kia che. Bolun? Money laundering actually uh, like uh, um taking the money and uh, doesn't repay, uh, taking it as a loan and then not repaying it or uh, actually fraud in money case. Mm. See, making black money into white money, getting corruption, then making it white money, getting money from abroad, not through proper means and making it white money. That is known as money laundering, mainly for terrorism purposes and all. Money comes through illegal means. Apni keno eta wrong bole chin. Ki holo? I have to revise it. <laughs> Good. I'm happy you're smiling. But it's a very rare quality in children. So when somebody says negative,